Hello, everyone. Uh, I am pleased and honored to be joined today by my colleague, Soraya Correa, the Chief Procurement Officer at the Department of Homeland Security. We are excited to announce together the changes we've made to our long-range broad agency announcement process. My organization, the DHS Science and Technology Directorate, has been working closely with Soraya and her team to deliver a better experience for you. Soraya will share more details with you about our new long-range BAA in a moment. But in addition to improving our long-range BAA, we've also improved this website, so you may have an easier time in navigating the site and finding the information you need. If you're new to our site, its purpose is to connect companies of all sizes with opportunities to do business with DHS. If we have a need or a requirement for our Homeland Security technology, it will be posted here. We are targeting unique, revolutionary, and maturing technologies that demonstrate the potential for significant improvement in Homeland Security missions and operations. If you visited this website before, you'll find more simplified, streamlined content, along with improved navigational tools to make it easier for you to understand how your ideas and capabilities align with our research and development priorities. For us to deliver innovative solutions that fill technology gaps, you first need to understand who we are, who we serve, and how we do business. So who are we? s and provides science and engineering expertise to protect the nation from natural and man-made disasters and emerging threats. This includes supporting the department's missions to strengthen security at our borders, airports, seaports, transportation hubs, and even cyberspace. This extends to protecting citizens and communities during emergencies and natural disasters. So who do we serve? Our customers are broad. All the DHS components like Customs and Border Protection, FEMA, U.S. Coast Guard, and TSA, as well as our first responder community. There are also critical infrastructure operators, those essential to areas such as utilities, transportation, and communications, just to name a few. And finally, Homeland Security practitioners from across government and industry. Our business is to enhance operational security and build resilience capacity in an environment where the security landscape is ever-changing. To deliver solutions to our customers, we need to, number one, better understand our customers' needs. We do this by engaging security operators on the front lines to better understand the operational challenges they face in complex threat environments. This allows us to define their requirements and work with industry innovators like you to develop cost-effective solutions. Number two, we need to pursue an innovative approach that enables us to take advantage of best practices and leverage capabilities across DHS to drive efficiencies and deliver results. And to ensure the effective transition of products, we engage our procurement and acquisition colleagues at the beginning of that process. As part of this, we continually seek to bring new technologies to the table to ensure the safety and resiliency of our communities and those who protect them. And number three, we need to execute effectively. By using agile business tools and vehicles like this long-range BAA, we are better positioned to quickly transition technical solutions into operations that are scalable and repeatable. By reaching out to industry, universities, labs, first responders, and across all levels of government, we are advancing collaborative R&D to make impacts in today's increasingly complex threat environment. But I have to give credit where credit is due, and credit to this goes to Soraya and her procurement team, and by streamlining the long-range BAA in, in such a way that you have to enable our interaction with business to be much smoother and much faster. So I really appreciate your perspective on uh, how this is really going to help that relationship and that partnership going forward. Thank you, Bill. It's a pleasure to be here with you today to deliver this exciting news. In today's digital age, where innovation moves fast, we need to have the trust of the business community. To build this trust, I have implemented several initiatives focused on hearing from industry on how we can improve our business practices. Bill, this goes back to something you said a few moments ago about how we do business and strengthen the trust with our industry partners. Essentially. You spoke and we listened. And you know what? We learned a few things. Our processes could be more efficient, our needs should be clearer, and our communications need improvement. With your help, Bill, we took this feedback and updated our business model. As a result, we have a new long-range BAA on our web portal, which was posted June 4th. Let me briefly detail why this matters. First, it simplifies the whole process from the time of announcement through contract award. Second, we reduce timeframes. From inception to award, we cut five and a half months off the current process. Finally, it allows for more transparent communications to industry, including direct contact with our program managers. You can pitch your research concepts, demonstrate your working prototypes using videos, 
And we even ask questions about your ideas and concepts. Gone is the white paper and the lack of transparency. In its place is our new long-range BAA process, which includes a discussion with an s and program manager, followed by a two-phase procurement process. Let me outline this process. Phase one is completed within a 21-day period and includes a virtual pitch to our peer review panel and a decision as to whether or not your idea is approved to advance to phase two. Phase two, which also is completed within 21 days, involves submission of a written proposal, an assessment by our panel, and a decision about contract award. This is also new. We will actually provide technical feedback for proposals that are not accepted. I really appreciate the opportunity to work with your team, Bill, to build this new process. Well, thank you, Soraya, for being a partner in this effort. You and your team have been continuously driving this effort to smooth our relationship with industry, to make things better, faster, easier, and smoother for them to partner with us. So I want to give credit and once again and thank you for the work that you're doing in that space. One other item to know, all of our long-range BAA topics are featured inside the S&T Industry Guide, which is on our S&T website. We encourage you to stay connected with us and let us know how this is working for you. So please contact us with any questions that you may have. For Soraya and all of our DHS colleagues, thank you for your time and consideration and thank you for partnering with us. We look forward to working with you to deliver the solutions needed to strengthen the security of our nation. And again, to all of you, thank you for tuning in.